As I was busy writing today's devotional for our Build Existence app, the Holy Spirit said that someone really needs to hear this word today. So I'm releasing it on all platforms today. So it is a little bit ahead of the app scheduled time, but someone really needs to hear it now. So if this word is for you, know that you really are worthy, loved, seen, valued, and so known. So Galatians 5 verses 15 in the ESV says, But if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. You might have heard or read the scripture before regarding not to bite one another with words, nor to devour one another with words, as it tears us down and it consumes us, belittling us and chipping away at our identities, breaking our identities down to the extent that we no longer know who we are. All you need to do is look at unhappy marriages, quarreling among sibling relationships, distasteful friendships, etc., and you will find that at the center of those relationships are words of bitterness, strife, envy, discord, hatred, sarcasm, inappropriate joking, harsh words, disrespect, blaming words, and finger pointing, etc. But what about your relationship with you? Do you bite and devour yourself, tearing yourself down, beating yourself up? When you receive compliments or words of life, do you immediately cast them down, telling yourself that you are not worthy of them, good enough for them, rejecting your very own self? We often are quick to look at people around us and blame them for the words they speak against us, but how guilty are you at doing the same thing to yourself? Jesus went to the cross for you so that you can understand that you are worthy, you are beautiful, you are good enough and you are important to Him. Often the Holy Spirit might send someone to speak words of life, encouragement and identity over you, but you don't receive it. You are blinded by your own devouring of yourself and the words people have spoken. You might at those times think God has not revealed to you who you are yet or how important you are to Him. But in reality He did and continues to do so, you just don't receive it. So be kind to yourself. Stop being your own worst enemy by tearing yourself down with your own words and thoughts. Stop listening to words that people have spoken over you when they don't even truly know or see you for you. Stop believing those lies of the enemy. Open your eyes and see the beauty God created inside of you and start speaking that over yourself. Matthew 12 verse 25 in the Amplified says, Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said to them, any kingdom that is divided against itself is being laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will continue to stand. So when you are against your very own self, how do you expect to get healed and free from the pain caused to you by others? Matthew 12 verses 25 says that a house divided against itself cannot stand. So perhaps today is the day you realize that you and your thoughts shape the world you see. If you keep looking at yourself through non-Christ-like lenses, your world will continue to reflect that. If you want freedom, you need to start looking through Christ-like lenses. No one can make that happen for you. It is a choice you need to make every day. A choice as to whether you will continue to tear yourself down with words and thoughts or whether you are going to build yourself up with words and thoughts according to God's word and what He says about you. So Daddy God, I thank you that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you, my beautiful King Jesus, for the price you paid so that I can see how worthy and valued I am in your eyes. Father, help us to not see ourselves through wrong lenses. Help us to not disqualify or tear ourselves down, but rather to build ourselves up in you. Strip away everything that hinders that process. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.